Well, Eddie here, post two for the day. I'm just sitting outside, and as I'm sitting outside, I'm looking at the, the back of the house, and I'm just out here with uh, another couple of our dogs, um, Angel, which is right here, a Pomeranian, and then Winston, the Dachshund, right over there. So, as I'm sitting back here, I'm thinking about, you know, um, buying a pre-existing home versus building a home. And I don't know if you guys have ever contemplated that, but... You know, there's pluses and minuses with everything, pros and cons with everything. Now, with building a home, a brand new one, some of us think that, you know, there's no way in this world we can afford it. But really, there are a lot of incentives um, out there nowadays, discounts and whatnot, um, for people to, to build a home. Um, contractors and whatnot and developers have great deals going on. So, you know, you never know. You should check it out. You know, with the with building a home, you have some advantages such as, Number one, it's going to be all brand new. You're going to be the first person using it. You can plan it like you want it. If you want an open floor plan or if you want, you know, um, you know, a split floor plan or whatever the case may be. Heck, you can even plan where the outlets are. Um, in some pre-existing homes, I don't know if you've ever gone to install something or, or mount something or plug something in. You're like, man, I wish an outlet was here. And in this case, there can be an outlet there. Um, also, with pros in terms of building... Um, you know, you can really plan the neighborhood out, well, to a certain extent. You know, the neighbors and you are going to really know each other as the houses are being constructed to each other, um, next to each other. So definitely a thought for you to consider with building a home. Um, with building a home also, once again, remember, you know, there are some cons to it, you know, time frame. You might have to find some temporary housing while your new home is being constructed, um, you know, whether or not you're going to deal with the construction loan, whether or not you're going to open the permits, um, and your contractor developers are going to handle that. You know, there's always pluses and minuses to everything. Um, if you're looking to build a custom home, you know, and you want it to be backed up um, against, let's say, a tree ridge or whatnot, or a tree line, um, you know, you can make that happen with building a home. You can buy the lot and build it where you want to build it. Um, but once again, you know, a lot of us go to search for homes endlessly and can't find what we want. So I'm just suggesting, you know, maybe buying or uh building a home, you know, having it built for you, it may be an option, you know, you can also pick out the layout and the vegetation and, uh, you know, all types, all types of stuff. Now, buying a pre-existing home also has its benefits, you know, number one, it's already built, <laughs> instant moving, you know, um, after closing most of the time, um, for the most part, it's going to be up to code, it's going to be up to permit, you're not going to have to pay for that stuff, um, you're going to know the neighborhood, because it's already going to be around you, um, unlike you know, you don't really have control on who lives around you, but, you know, you can kind of prejudge it um, based on that because the house is already there. Also, with buying a home, you know, there there are some cons with it in terms of, you know, you have to really weigh the options of, you know, weighing out the quirks of the home because, you know, as you're going to look at different houses and pre-existing houses, you know, you don't spend the night in there. You know, you don't know what creaks or what doesn't quite work correctly until you buy it. Um, until you live in it. So, of course, you got to go through that stuff. And, um, you know, of course, there are other pros and cons to all this stuff. So, anyways, I just wanted to share that thought with you as I was sitting outside on this beautiful day here in uh, sunny South Florida. So, I encourage you, if you have any uh, questions or comments or you're interested in anything um, related to building or construction, that you just really look for a good developer or con contractor to help you out with that. Um, as always, guys, this is Eddie Acevedo from Remax a superior real estate team. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me, Acevedo, A-C-E-V-E-D-O, Remax, R-E-M-A-X, at gmail.com, or call me at 954-610-9112. 954-610-9112. All right, guys, I hope you all are staying uh, safe, and uh, that barking means that Winston wants to go inside. So I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.